Lululemon Athletica is next. Now, this is an interesting one because it's a designer and retailer of technical athletic apparel, especially yoga clothes for women. So we're talking about premium branded, high-end stuff here. Very expensive, but much beloved by its customers. And its customers access the brand through online sales as well as about 250 stores. The company started out its life in Vancouver in British Columbia in Canada. But it's expanded across the United States and it's got a handful of stores internationally in places like Australia, New Zealand and Dubai. Market cap is only $9.07 billion, so quite small still by international standards. Price to earnings ratio 34, also not paying dividends, so another high growth type company. Established only a couple of decades ago by a guy called Chip Wilson, right, who'd already done well in the surfing gear but started this company because he saw yoga coming. Right from the beginning, it was high-end stuff. And as a result of that, they have had some issues in recent years because when you set a very high mark with regard to your clothing and a very high price point, you do have to be concerned about occasional quality slips. They had a bit of a disaster about 18 months ago with a bunch of pants made of Luon, which is the stretchy fabric that yoga pants are made from, which weren't quite up to scratch. But as I said before, this is a company that is extremely highly regarded by its customers, so all of that stuff hardly even matters. Now, they're not only in women's gear. This is a Lululemon man's athletic gear, which I would say is my favorite top. It's manufactured from a fabric which is extremely easy to wear, can I say. Beautiful seam work, amazing fabrics, technical gear, light as a feather, and just fabulous for running in in the warm weather, which we have most of the year here. Now, the company looks expensive. Let's have a look at the five-year chart. You can see that it's been up, down, and left, right, and sideways. It's the kind of thing where when a company like this does well, it's very high expectations, but I think it offers an interesting entry point in some of a way which is similar to the way that Adidas does. Part of the drama in the middle there was not only related to products. They also found that Chip Wilson, the founder that I mentioned earlier, was causing a lot of trouble in the background. He was anxious about the company's current CEO, Christine Day. He had her fired, replaced with someone else. Then he was making noise about whether or not the stores were selling the right kind of stuff. Basically, he agreed to step down and sell his shares to a private equity group and to place a bunch of his other shares in the market. So that kind of dis-ease created by some loose shareholding also resulted in a little bit of a slump with regard to the shares. But that Chip Wilson factor is now out of the way. He is basically no longer on the board and has sold down his shares. So I think this one additionally adds exciting opportunity and for me, something you ought to consider, although recognize if you're going into the international markets for the first time, then clearly Nike is a much better and much safer play. But Lululemon is something for you to consider as well. Good. That's it. Hot on Lululemon.